This is the Star News Brief from Tina Mombuni. An American politician believed to have played a key role in the 2018 handshake has embarked on a mission to end hostilities between Kenya Kwanza and Azimio. Delaware Senator Chris Andrew Coons on Sunday met Azimio leaders and is also expected to meet President William Ruto as Kenya Kwanza and Azimio enter the second week at the Bombers of Kenya. Kunz is thought to have brokered the handshake between retired President Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga on March 9, 2018. Then, the two leaders made a public declaration to cease all hostilities and find common ground in the interest of moving the country forward economically and politically. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Senators have launched a probe into claims that the government has not been paying families of deceased or injured public service employees their statutory benefits. It follows allegations by Narok Senator Ladamo Nakina that the government has not remitted billions of shillings to public service employees in compliance with the Public Service Superannuation Scheme Act of 2012. Seeking a statement from the Senate Committee on Labor and Social Welfare, Olekina said teachers who form the bulk of the civil servants have never been provided with the benefits. In yet another medical milestone, the Moy Teaching and Referral Hospital in Eldoret has conducted a rare surgery in East Africa after the hospital successfully re-implanted the hand of a patient who had been traumatically amputated last week. The patient, identified as BK, is a 35-year-old male who had been amputated through the wrist, otherwise known medically as left-hand traumatic amputation. The patient, a casual worker, sustained the injury last week on Tuesday at about midday following a domestic assault and was referred to the hospital from Sigowet Sub-County Hospital, Kericho County. The government is planning to double its savings at the National Social Security Fund to cushion the country against expensive foreign borrowing, President William Ruto has announced. Currently, NSSF savings stand at 350 billion shillings, a figure the president said his administration will double in the next four years. The head of state insisted Kenya must move away from the culture of operating without steady savings and relying on other countries' savings to borrow for its own development. County governments will have the power to seize and sell property and land of rate defaulters if a bill before the National Assembly sails through. According to the bill, the county will be required to write to property or landowners and demand payment in 60 days and explain the consequences for failure to pay within the specified timelines. The National Rating Bill 2022 further says the county government also has the option of imposing a penalty at the prevailing central bank rate, denying certain county services or instituting a suit against the defaulters. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.